the rising political rhetoric we're hearing at the Tea Party protests, town hall meetings, and all across the country. Has it reached a level that Clinton has never seen before? You'll hear his opinion. You'll also find out why, for the first time, he changed his stance over same-sex marriage. Uncovering America tonight, here's the former president. You said you recently changed your mind on same-sex marriage. I'm wondering what you mean by that. Do you now believe that gay people should have full rights to civil marriage nationwide? I do. I am no longer opposed to that. I think if people want to make commitments that last a lifetime, uh, they ought to be able to do it. I have long favored the right of gay couples to adopt children. What made you change your mind? I mean, was there one thing? Was it a... I think what made me change my mind, was I looked up one day and I said, look at all this stuff you're for. I've always believed that uh, the, that I've never s supported all these the moves of a few years ago to ban gay couples from adoption. Because there are all these kids out there looking for a home. And the standard in all adoption cases is, what is the best interest of the child? And there are plenty of cases where the best interest of the child is to let the gay couple take them and give them a loving home. So I said, you know, I, I realized that I was, you know, over 60 years old, I grew up in a different time, and I was hung up about the word. I had all these gay friends, I had all these gay couple friends, and I was hung up about it. I, and I decided I was wrong, that if, that our society has an interest in coherence and strength and commitment and mutually reinforcing loyalties, and if gay couples uh, want to call their union marriage, and uh, a state agrees, and several have now, or a, a, a religious body will sanction it, and I don't think the state should be able to stop the religious bodies from saying it. I don't think the rest of us should get in the way of that. I think it's a good thing, not a bad thing. Do you think things are more polarized now? When you see the so-called Tea Party protests, when you see the, some of these raucous town hall meetings, and you hear President Obama call a Nazi, a socialist, are things, is the debate more um, just nastier now? Or, I mean, it was pretty tough against you uh, when you were president. Is this oh, just yeah, politics they, as usual? These intense, sort of brutal uh, personal attacks uh, began really in earnest uh, in the mid to late 70s and have pretty well characterized things. See, when, after my first two years in Congress, I saw uh, some independent body who studied such things said that I'd actually received more support from the Democrats than President Johnson did mm. in his first two years. But I was the, but I had had the most unanimous opposition from the Republicans of any president in modern history from the other party in Congress. So this thing's been building over 30 years. I do think that it's broken in the people. I think it's different in the people. I think you saw that in the last election. The public is so tired of all this. They want to just get together and go forward and have a solution. The, congr the congressional Republicans need to know that just saying no on everything and praying for the president to fail is not a good strategy.